Hey Learning Birds, this is Mr. Ozarka with another lesson brought to you by LearningBird.com. If you have any questions about the following video, you can email me at mrozarka at gmail.com. All right, here we go. All right, so this is going to be a video about interquartile range. And basically, it's when you subtract the lower quartile, or this Q1, by the upper quartile, which is this Q3. So if you have a bunch of data and you break it up into quarters, so 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%, 25% if you take that that, that number right here that's in between this 25% and this 25% and subtract it from this this same one, this Q3 right here, you end up with the interquartile range. This is right here, Q3 minus Q1. To kind of cement this a little bit more in your head though, we're gonna be looking at some examples to try to figure out what this interquartile range is all about. So the example we're gonna be looking at is right here. It says, find the interquartile range of the following set of data. So it says one, three, four, four, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do to find the IQR or the interquartile range is find the median. Remember that is the middle number. So so what I'm gonna do is just cancel out the outside numbers each time until we get to the middle number. So we have the one and the nine are gone, then the three and the eight, the four and the seven, the other four and the seven, the five and the six, and then we're left with this six right here, which is our Q2, or our second quartile, which is called the median. From there, we want to find the lower and upper quartile. So basically what you're gonna be doing is finding the median of this bottom half of data, and then the median of this top half of data, and that's gonna represent our lower quartile and our upper quartile. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing to find the median only with this bottom half of numbers right here. So I'm gonna get rid of the one and the five, the three and the four, and then we're left with this four right here, which is our Q1 or our lower quartile. Then I'm gonna do the same thing over here to find the upper quartile. So get rid of the six and the nine, and getting rid of the seven and the eight, and then I have the seven right here, which is the Q3 or the upper quartile. Okay, next it says to subtract the lower quartile from the upper quartile. So I'm gonna basically be subtracting these two numbers here. So the interquartile range would then be equal to seven minus four, which is equal to three. So that would be our interquartile range for this set of data. So you might be thinking, who cares about interquartile range? Well, it turns out that statisticians, scientists, analysts, financial advisors, or anyone else that's looking at large sets of data is gonna care about IQR because it tells them a lot about the data that they are looking at. So that's interquartile range. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know. And if you thought this lesson helped you, please be sure to click This Was Helpful. For other great lessons, be sure to check out learningbird.com.